Bird flu is spreading rapidly across California in cows. About two-thirds of California dairies are now under quarantine as we speak. It all comes as L.A. County is reporting bird flu in household cats. ABC 10's Devin Truby joins us live after hearing from the California Department of Public Health and a local infectious disease doctor. Devin. That's right, Laura. There is still no evidence of bird flu spreading from person to person in California or anywhere else for that matter. Meaning for now, the risk to humans is still low, but there are cases that they aren't linked to contact with animals that's causing concern. The California Department of Public Health and Food and Agriculture hosting a joint press conference Friday to address the bird flu. 35 of our 36 human cases in California are the direct result of exposure to infected cattle. It was a child in Alameda County. The child had no known animal exposures, and the source of this case is still unknown. It was also shared that two cats that contracted bird flu virus in L.A. County were from drinking raw milk. In California, there are 984 dairies with 1.7 million cows that get tested weekly now. The majority of the infected dairies are in the Central Valley. Pasteurized milk and pasteurized dairy products continue to be safe to consume, and pasteurization is fully effective in inactivating the bird flu virus. Eggs that you buy in a store are also safe. 16 labs across the state can test for bird flu. For animal testing, there are four sites run by UC Davis. The lab expressed concerns over a staffing crisis. This was addressed at the press conference. It's also part of a national lab network, so whenever um, we need search capacity, we can access uh, multiple labs in other states. Currently, we're actually using five different labs uh, systems. Uh, for them in other states to, to meet our testing needs. While the threat to the public remains low, Dr. Dean Blumberg at UC Davis Children's Hospital explains um, the concern. If there is a mutation among these strains that allows it to more easily transmit person to person, then that would be um, very concerning and has the potential by causing a pandemic, for example. Dr. Blumberg says the telltale sign of bird flu versus regular flu is also having pink eye. Symptoms to look out for are their common flu symptoms. Getting your flu vaccine is a good idea. That'll help them from, from getting sick and then maybe being confused with bird flu. But the other reason is that we're concerned that if people have regular human influenza and then also get bird flu at the same time, that that can be the way that the virus can mix, can reassort and mutate and then um, be more easily transmitted person to person. Detection is key in California has the largest wastewater testing system in the nation with 75 sites. UC Davis economists have been hired to study the impact on milk and poultry supply, which would impact your price at the grocery store. We're waiting for those results. Chris. We're tracking it all. And keep in mind, Devin, thank you. Streaming now on ABC 10 Plus on the home screen, you can find a Q&A with a UC Davis expert on the bird flu and what you need to do at home to stay safe. The app is free wherever you get your streaming apps, including Roku and Amazon Fire TV.